Hello my friends of Hattery Labs, my name is Ulmo Montoya, please welcome to this tutorial about how to do a quadri refinement of a ModFlow 6 mesh um, and in this tutorial we are going to cover an example of a regional basin with a quadri refinement done from the river network, from a tunnel alignment and as well from observation points so let's start with our model muse We create a mod flow model next. Uh, this is just declarative, okay. And here we are going to use the no grid option, okay. The no grid options, okay. Let's let's wait. Yeah, it might be that it will prompt you some error. That is no problem. Okay, so let's go find import chef file. And here we are going to use the. You are going to receive the zipped version of these files. Let's go here to model geology. No, not here. Let's go file, import chef file. And it will be model limit 2, set value of enclosed cells, two formulas, because this will be on data set required later from model top to upper, lower aquifer bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, nothing will happen. Okay, why nothing will happen? Because here you have to select this on a, of a, of model limit. Then you this will define the outer refinement. I mean, I mean the normal grid size. We change that of color. Okay, and here on data sets we are going to define that this will be true. Okay, this in fact whatever is inside the polygon will be true. Why? Because uh, outside the polygon will be false. So let's go here to data, the data sets, okay, and here will be false. And then with that, only the part that is inside the polygon will be uh, active. So we generate the grid, and this will be our grid. However, here we are going to show just the active part, and this has to be like this. Okay, great. So now we are going to import all the other files that will define the... Okay, now we have the regular grid and now we are going to import the other parts that will define the quadri refinement. Okay, so the other shape files that will define the quadri refinement in this case will be the river network. Okay, set value of intersected cells. The elevation is actually not that uh, relevant here, we select that, we select our river network, we can define this as one tree refinement, we change that of color, okay, and nothing will happen because you just have said that this will be in, will be used for the refinement, but actually no refinement has been done, so let's say file, import chef file, and then we have the tunnel alignment so this is the entire panel set value of intersected cell single multipart object single multipart object okay that's it and this is the tunnel alignment okay and here what we have is um, we well we change that of color and then here we do two levels of quadri refinement Okay, and that's it. And then uh, we can define our grid with this. And this will be minus 76 because I want that the grid will be parallel to one axis will be parallel to this alignment. So we give this custom inclination. And then here you have your grid, but actually nothing will happen. Why nothing will happen? I will tell you why because we have to switch to this V because now we are in the this normal this but we have to switch to this V and here you will see that the grid has been made okay however uh, you can switch to this V before I mean you can from the beginning of the model you can switch to this V in my case I forgot about that and but I can do it later on okay so this is my quadri refinement okay and then I'm going to import the observation data observation points because i want that to use points as features for the refinement as well 
cell value of intersected cells ok and I select those points and then I here I do two levels of refinement as well I can do three or four levels it's up, up to me and I can change that to color ok and once again I regenerate that ok and then you will see the refinement on my grids ok maybe I would like to do this uh, this I can increase because I say ok maybe I want to increase the refinement on the river network ok and this is the refinement on the river network mm -hmm file uh, object no object hide all objects and then we see our refinement and this will be with the with the river network okay the result is pretty it's pretty impressive this is not on the structure grid this is this grid type Albert is grid it's a feature that is implemented in the mod flow 6 uh, and I hope that this will help you to to find the local refinements and that you want to to create for your models okay thank you for following us please follow up please share our blog to the people that might interest and hope to see you in coming webinars and courses and so have a great day bye bye bye